Are you interested in making a handmade bib but don't know how to sew? Stay tuned, I'm going to show you guys how to make the collar bib out of a men's shirt. For the best DIY and fashion content, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I post a video every Tuesday. I have a Facebook page that is dedicated to DIY crafts and fashion that you're able to join. Now it's your turn. To start off this project, you're going to need a men's shirt or one of your shirts with a collar. Now ladies, if you are a plus size and your husband is smaller than you, check your neck measurement and his neck measurements before you go out and buy a shirt because you don't have to fit the shirt for the collar bib. And you're gonna measure for the way I did it was one inch from the shoulder seam on both sides and then count down four, four buttons or put the, the shirt on and make sure that it goes at least two to three inches below your breast. And then you're going to mark that for myself it's at the fourth button so then I went down about 18 inches of an inch so it was in between the next button and the one that I'm cutting and then I made a mark I attached my shoulder seam down to where I'm going to cut with a curve now the best way to get an accurate measurement so that everything is identical to the opposite side is to cut them together so I opened up the shirt pinned everything I put a pin in my shoulder for the back and I cut and I just cut along that line Now for my non-sewers, there is three options that you have. One is fabric glue, and you can glue that on, leave it, let it dry, and that's what, how you would do your raw edge. Or you can use Fuse Web. Now Fuse Web, it is a heat, you, you do need to iron it, but then also, if you wash your item in hot water, it will come apart. So those are the two things, or you can hand stitch, and hand stitching obviously would just take a little bit more time. Comment down below if you prefer this type of sewing project. Now to prep for your, your seam, you want to curve your corners so that when you go to curve the corner and flip over your quarter of an inch or half an inch, whatever your seam allowance is, that your shirt, that it, it's going to actually curve. So what I did is for anyone who's not sewing with a sewing machine, you're just going to take um, thread and hand stitch right around up to where the curve goes straight and then you're going to pull it so it curves and then you're going to press down your quarter of an inch but I want my bib to actually fit and not just be flapping. So I incorporated elastics at the side to hold the bibs together. Now what you wanna do is put on the bib, check which spot is nice and secure and pin your bib there. And then you're going to take it to your serger if you have a serger and you can serge all the way around. If not, you're going to hand stitch it. So with the serging, remove any needles that you have and just serge all the way around. And then you will go and then hand stitch or machine stitch. And what I do is I like to iron. So I pressed all my the seams. I pressed my serge seam flat and then I went and I fixed up the curve and I curved it. I, so I did two, a double fold and then I stitched it and the bib is completed. This detachable collar DIY is a fake collar and perfect for spring, summer and winter months under a vest or sweater. Now this week we learned how to make a handmade collar bib. This simple DIY do-it-yourself project goes well 
with our DIY collar choker. We will not be shirt collar cutting, but creating a DIY detachable collar or a DIY collar shirt bib. Now that you know how to make the collar bib, I have written a nine page designing platform guideline to help you get those creative juices out of your mind and onto a digital platform. I have included some tutorials to help you understand the platforms better. You can download the guide at the link in the description box. Also, are you a creative mind and wanna join a community of like-minded individuals? I do have my Facebook page where we will be sharing information regarding fashion and DIY crafts that you're able to join, check out the link in the description box. Check out these videos next on leather choker collar necklace and the African collar choker statement piece and my upcoming video on tie dyeing. If you like this video, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share it with family and friends.